Russia's war in Ukraine spilling over into Poland, killing two people. Russia's war in Ukraine after two missiles crossed over the border into Poland. Russian missiles have crossed the border into Poland, killing two people. In what could potentially be a very significant escalation in the context of Russia-Ukraine war, two people have been reported to be killed after what appears to be Russian-made missiles hit an eastern Polish village. Warsaw has put its military on highest alert and the UN Security Council is slated to discuss this incident sometimes later today. Few hours back, NATO and G7 countries wrapped up their emergency meeting that was called to discuss this on the sidelines of the G20 summit. Both alliances have agreed to remain in close contact to decide on any possible reaction to the blast in Poland. The missiles hit the eastern Polish village just hours after Russia hit Ukrainian cities with missiles in one of the largest barrages so far causing havoc. However, as per the recent information, there is no conclusive evidence that the missiles were fired from inside Russia. The circumstances surrounding the incident, which marks the first time a NATO country has been directly struck during the almost nine months conflict, remain unclear. It is not known who fired the missile or where it was fired from, though the Polish Foreign Ministry has described it as Russian-made. Although it has been confirmed that they were of Russian origin, the Polish president himself has said that there is no clear-cut evidence about who launched the missiles. Reports have come claiming the missile was perhaps fired by Ukrainian forces at an incoming Russian missile. However, the reports have not been yet verified by the top officials of the NATO countries. Russia, on its part, has denied that it fired that missile and has said it is an attempt to make things worse. U.S. President Joe Biden has also hinted at the possibility that the missile might not have been fired from inside Russian borders. Now, with this missile hit, NATO is contemplating invoking Article 5. Article 5 of NATO says that any attack on a NATO member in Europe or in North America shall be considered an attack against them all. Poland has already invoked Article 4 that allows for any member to seek consultations with the rest of the alliance and states. But here is the catch. Simply invoking Article 5 would not mean any attack on a NATO member would automatically and immediately trigger a state of war on the part of NATO. The diplomatic nature of an Article 5 invocation is by design. It allows the alliance the necessary pause and diplomatic toolkit to respond to an aggression on its own terms. It allows each ally to decide for itself the best course of action to take. There is no prescribed response once the article is invoked. Article 5 does not necessarily require a military response. In fact, there is enough flexibility in the language of the treaty for a more nuanced response. It puts options on the table, not the obligation. Till date, in the 70 years of NATO's history, Article 5 has been invoked just once, after the 9-11 attacks on USA. But if it is proved that the missile was indeed fired from Ukraine, the situation will not escalate, as NATO won't consider it an act of aggression. Also, Ukraine has been pushing for NATO membership, so things might not get worse. Whether NATO will invoke Article 5 remains to be seen, and the ramifications of it, if invoked at all, is also shrouded in future. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.